Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Opinion: CNN suggests beating certain white people to a pulp is right for sick reason. It's like the Armageddon of news when you see Chris Cuomo from CNN defending people attacking the innocent. Pair that with the news gaffe by ABC and you have the epitome of fake news and nonsense that no one in America should ever take seriously. ABC News covered a story about a black man who was at the Unite the Right rally, huge joke by the way, because even a WNBA team can get a bigger turnout. The man was there with a very small crowd and they were outnumbered by Antifa and angry leftists by like thousands. There was a massive crowd of bitter protesters and only a small tiny pathetic group of white power people. The black man was with the so-called white power guys, who claim they actually are not for white power, but for power for all people. Interestingly enough, the story wouldn't be any good if people found out that the alleged white supremacists were not white supremacists at all, but more so advocates for freedom of speech. Why people are rallying for freedom of speech when we already have freedom of speech is pretty pointless, but I guess these folks just want to bash each other's brains and senselessly. I don't really care if they do or don't, but it makes great videos to see them violently crush each other. The only problem is that they don't actually accomplish anything, they get hurt and then the police are barely allowed to do their job thanks to some mayors demanding them to stand down. Throw all that in the mixed bag of nonsense and then you'll see CNN on the other side acting like it's okay to beat people to a pulp if it's for the right reason. The funny thing is, all the people at these left versus right protests don't have any actual reason to assault each other, but they do it because they like to. They do it because they are sick in the head. This is the American left. They cry. They hit. They're like toddlers who soiled their diaper and were abused by their Democrat parents. I had to stop reading ABC's news story because they described a black man as wearing all black when the guy was wearing blue jeans and a black and white shirt. I don't know if the writer of that article just had a racist Freudian slip or what, but they're not correct. Blue jeans and white on the shirt is not the equivalent to all black all black is all black. Here's the huge not so smart mistake ABC made. Brandon Watson clad in all black and wearing an American flag as a cape stood out as he marched and spoke alongside the Unite the Right leaders in Lafayette Park across from the White House on Sunday. Does this guy look all black to you? Nah, right? Up next is a little stupidity from CNN's Chris Cuomo, one of the biggest liberal dolts you can find on television. Of course, he works for CNN, where else would want this guy? Here's what Chris Cuomo tweeted out. Keep in mind that there were thousands of protesters and many of them were violent. The white supremacy guys barely showed up and the left had no one to fight with. Guess what happened? The left started attacking police officers. They attacked the media. Some of them probably attacked each other. This is the far extreme left in their Antifa pals and they should all be considered as domestic terrorists. There are so many videos of Antifa attacking people that anyone can find anywhere on the internet. Was Cuomo defending Antifa? If so, then maybe he's secretly an Antifa. Probably not because he has a job and Antifa people don't always seem to be the most employable crowd out there. What happens when a major news corporation has someone working for them and they appear to support violence that pits Americans versus Americans? Is this Cuomo trying to spark a civil war so that CNN has something else to cover? You've heard of firemen starting fires so they have something to do at work, well it's highly possible that big news media spikes some hard stuff into their drinks to get your juices flowing. Nothing like being the cool kid at the party with a spiked punch, right? Gotta get everyone moving around and liven up the party, aka news stream. I guess some people will do anything for ratings and a little bit of extra air time. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.